Hey man! Right, what you just saw was a automatic water collector. No clue why you would want to do something like that, but I made it anyway. And wow, that intro. That is what you get when I have a budget. I am able to put it into that kind of stuff. Not just in Minecraft, but also externally. Like the intro, like my banner, my YouTube channel, background right now there isn't because I can't afford one, but that's not the point. The point is the budget. It's everything, it controls everything that I do. So, enough of that, let's get down to how this works. So I created everything in this little world for you. This is the spawn point over here and this place will be this map, I mean, will be available for download. Now, let's see how it works. We have a little water collector over here, a little well area, and then we have a the minecart over here that will collect all the stuff. It has to be around this little circuit over here because it takes a bit of timing for the water. I'll just show you guys. Okay. I didn't copy over a button. Hmm. There we go. Let's test this out. So as you can see over here you can already tell why we had to put on the timer. It takes some time for the water to reform. But once it reforms, I think, I, yeah, this is the fastest you could probably do unless you add maybe, I think if you add another one here, then you would get double the output. But I don't know why you would do that. And if we go down to the chest over here, we have all the water buckets. Pretty cool. Little contraption thing. Not really that hard. You just have a little comparator over here activates a little clock over here. This clock controls when a new bucket will come down because you can't just streamline the buckets all the way down or else it'll jam up the whole system. But yeah, this design is pretty good. This is probably for, I have no idea why you would use this for, not much of a point really. I just made it because I can make it. And there we go. And now we're back in the office. After I finish showing off the creation that I had created, uh, we come into the little office here and we do this together. Me and you. I have to get pieces of paper. I need to get two because one has to be kept into my filing cabinet and one gets sent to corporate so they know I have completed. These, despite its name, is actually an ink bottle. It, it's my ink. Let's ink myself up a bit. That should be enough. Right, maybe I think I need one more ink. Good enough. Alright. So once we've inked ourselves up, let's get our piece of paper and let's start writing the documents. Now, what did we just create? We created an automatic water. Should I write collector? No. Let's write the little date of when it was made. And that's all good. Pretty good. Now I have to write it again. One copy is for myself. This copy over here I'm going to send. Actually this is going to be my piece of copy. This one will be corporate. So I have to, for corporate I have to write an ID of what it is. ID automatic water collector. We do not need a date because the date is automatic for them. Now My first out. That's pretty good. Now, let's go to A. 
and file it all away. So we have our first creation out. Automatic water on this deck. Hopefully we can fill all these chests with magnificent creations. I really want to do these with you guys. See you later.